Never fails that one fucking bolt's always gonna fuck you over. All right, you know what today is? Today is get rid of that shitty Jeep transfer case shifter linkage. Anybody who owns a Jeep knows that that linkage is a piece of shit. What I got today is a Novak conversion kit, which is cable shifting. It's supposed to be really smooth. I did a lot of research. Uh, there's a few other companies that make them, but everybody seemed to praise the Novak kit. So we're going to install it. What's going to make my installation easier is my transfer case is out, so you're going to get better clarity. Anyways, let's quit fucking around. Let's go underneath and get this shit done. The first thing we got to do is start removing all the accessories that are bolted on. I removed this linkage bar that goes up to the top. I just used like a pry bar, pried it out here, then use a pry bar to pry it out there. Now we get to peel the carpet back in the Jeep and rip this cocksucking piece out and this old shifter linkage will be gone. Gone forever. Alright, so you just gotta pull your carpet back from your shifter and there's those four bolts there, so... Gotta rip those out and drop the linkage out. This is where having somebody to help you out would make this part a lot easier because now we gotta mount the bracket. What I did is I just got three bolts on backwards so I could line them up and it's a tight fit so they'll catch on the side of the body well that decides not to fall before I get some duct tape out <sighs> okay got a couple strips on let's hopefully I can get that in Actually, I'm going to snug this one up, and I'm going to pull those ones out, then I'm going to back that one off, then move it around to get them all in. Now, you may find that all the holes will line up. Now, you got a couple options. You can try to use a pin bar, and a pin bar like I did right here just kind of distorted the metal, and now I should be able to get this last one in. Another method you can do if you're close is to chase a tap through the hole. This is already tapped. But if you chase the tap through the hole, it cuts metal through the frame, and then that way you'll be able to chase it through with your bolt. So those are all put back into place. We can put the carpet back. We're done with it. Now we get to attach the cable, and we gotta spin one nut off. And one washer. And we're going to go underneath and attach it. Oh, well, let's fucking try this again. Before I tighten that down, I'm just going to quickly read to make sure that there's not a certain adjustment that needs to be at. Didn't say anything, that doesn't mean fuck all, so we'll tighten this back up. There, that's better. It kind of gives you some perspective of where that mounting bracket's gonna go. And make sure, make sure that you use blue Loctite or something to lock down the threads when you remove them. For this next step, you gotta make sure your transfer case is in two wheel high and your shifter's in two wheel high. One way you're gonna be able to find out is that this one goes to the front drive shaft, spins freely. That one there is locked. So now, I gotta feed the cable through inside here, put it about halfway in the threads again, and then we gotta twist the clevis on until it lines up with that hole. So I got my clevis screwed on all the way and I can't reach the hole and I'm bottomed out. So now what I'm going to have to do, I have a couple choices. I could uh, back this off and move that back to make it fit. But I'm actually going to take that off up top. Um, screw that in as far as it'll go and see if I can get a little bit more out of there. Well I got her and a couple things I don't like is the kink in the cable here. It loops around. Um, comes pretty close to hitting the uh, 
sensor wire here and I had to remove the jam nut to get it in here I don't have it I don't have a cotter pin in it yet but I'm going to uh, put I fill my transfer case full of oil now and then we're gonna shift through it make sure everything works the way it should four high two-wheel drive four high neutral and then four low four low's always been kind of a sticky little bastard in this Jeep so there we go you know what time it is? it's fucking beer time, that's what time it is I'm gonna end my video on the Novak transfer case shifter installed it does make it shifting a little bit more smoother than having the cable linkage. But I'm going to end my video at that. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.